Hi, it's Mark with At My Home, and today we're going to go over a few devices from Fabaro. They sent us uh, some Z-Wave devices that we're going to test over the next month or so and uh, give you a report. So let's see what they sent us. All right, first off, a door and window sensor. So let's take a look. So a window and door sensor, it's pretty large, and uh, there's the magnet that goes with it. <clears throat> so door and window sensor. With directions. The uh, second device they sent us is a flood sensor. You never can have enough of these to put into the kitchen sink or under your hot water heater. So here's the flood sensor. It's nice and small. Tiny little thing with the uh, sensors in the bottom so if it gets wet it'll let us know. And directions. All right. The third thing they sent us is a motion sensor. This detects both motion as well as temperature, and also uh, is a light sensor. I love the the way it looks. <laughs> it's like an eye. Um, let's take a look at this. <clears throat> well, it is like an eye. So there it is. A little sensor and uh, again set of directions now these three sensors here we think will connect up nicely to smart things and then uh, we'll see if they hook up to other uh, hubs that we may have in the house but those three sensors are traditional type of z-way sensors we've seen this last, this next one here is actually a button, and the button is interesting because it's really a scene button, and you can, according to the directions in the box, you can do up to six scenes with this button. I don't know how that's going to work on smart things, but we're going to give it a go. So there it is, pretty simple button, just clicks, and I'm sure there's directions again. There's a mounting ring, looks like a sticky ring, and uh, again directions to hook it up. And then the last thing you sent us is what's called swipe. And a swipe's interesting to us, we've never seen this before. You use hand gestures to make things happen in your house, so we'll give this a go. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Nice packaging. There it is. It's the swipe. So it's a small screen. Looks like a, there's a USB connector in the back to hook it up. Right. Comes with this cable and a mounting bracket, which is kind of nice, otherwise it doesn't stand very well. Um, and then a large set of directions here. So operating manual, the user manual, and even a warranty. So uh, quite a bit of gear here for this. Let's see if we can figure this out. <clears throat> the stand goes in here. I may never figure it out. <laughs> well, there you go. We'll have to figure this one out later with the directions. And but there's the uh, there's the stand. Well, I guess it probably goes like this. Oh, very simple. So there you go. <clears throat> that's the swipe controller. Just hook it up with the USB connector, uh, and that's it. And then everything's hooked up. So again, window and door sensor, uh, a flood sensor, uh, a motion light and temperature sensor, and a scene controller. Up to six items can be controlled by one button. And then the swipe control where you can actually make hand motions to make things happen in your house. So we're going to hook this up to smart things first, possibly other hubs later on. We'll give it a go for the next month or so. We'll come back with a full review of the Forbaro sensors and uh, let you know how they work. Thank you very much. This is Mark with At My Home. Oh, and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more information on Smart Home, please visit appmyhome.com. Thank you.